You guys wanted a wonder kid to superstar on a defender and we have found a centre back that can go on to be next level and actually starts off with some great attributes right from the off. I'm a massive fan of him. He doesn't cost the world either and I think you guys are going to absolutely love him. Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar. As mentioned today, we are focusing on a defender, a centre-back to be precise. I'm going to introduce you guys to today. Very highly respected in real life as well. You may have heard of him already, maybe not. But in FM terms, he's very good right from the off and even with limited growth, would still be a great player. So let's introduce you to him. We're going to be heading over to Belgium and to one of the bigger sides in Belgium, Anderlecht. Somewhere on the screen right right now is the player in question but before I show you him don't forget if you do enjoy this video to smash the like button for us and subscribe for more thank you a massive massive thank you for getting us to over 150,000 subscribers you guys are amazing and let us know in the comments down below who you want to see next in another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar but if you haven't guessed already we are looking at the 18 year old six foot three center back Zeno the Bast. Zeno is a breakthrough prospect out at Anderlecht and with young defenders sometimes you're saying oh they're great physically or their mentals are really good or they're really quick or strong. You don't often get a central defender at the age of 18 who has technical attributes that many centre-backs could only dream of even in their prime. Yes he's got good positioning, he can tackle, that's awesome, he's also a great marker but this man is phenomenal in terms of a ball playing section of the game with 13 technique, 15 passing and 12 vision already at the age of 18. He's also a really good crosser and has great first touch. He's good in the air as well. Now you can pick him up for about £10 million and his potential range is 140 to 170. So if you've got him on the lower end, you're still getting a very good player worth the money. But on the high end, he can be phenomenal. I'm now going to move him over to our Barcelona team and show you how we're going to set him up to make him one of the world's best central defenders. And there we go. He is now part of our Barcelona team. We've sent him on a language course and we're ready to see how well he'll do in a team known for playing beautiful football. Can he, as a central defender with great passing, get involved and become one of the best ball playing defenders around? I would suggest he's got a very strong chance of doing so. We'll be forcing the assistant manager to play him whilst we are on holiday in that ball playing defender the role on the defense duty in a 4-2-3-1 Gagan press preset tactic with a few roles adjusted. He's being mentored by some of the better players at the club and I'm purely focusing in on that role and I might put him on double intensity actually but I'm not giving him an additional focus. If I was going to or if you guys wanted to make him ready made as soon as possible I would get that strength up because once that is up he's in a very good place because you can see the highlighted attributes required for his role. Outside the decision-making strength and bravery sections of his game, he is ready-made to play. Hopefully we'll see some quick growth with him, but first let's simulate a few years ahead to see how he might look on the lower end of his potential range. And here we go. We are in 2024. I believe DeBast has been playing for two years for us now, and he's developing nicely. He's not yet unbelievably good world class but he looks like he's got a lot of potential at the age of 20. Just to let you know his current ability is 130 so he's still 10 potential ability ratings away from the worst version that you will get at full growth so clearly this guy is worth that investment. He's now worth over 30 thousand pounds his physical attributes as you would expect with a young player have begun to round out which is awesome there's no real faults in his game there and that's hopefully only going to get better he's now six foot four and his decision making has got much better the mentoring has also rubbed off on him his vision's gone up quite a lot as have a few other of those technical attributes but how well has he performed is he ready to play first team football it seems like the answer is just about he played 37 times for us last year on a 6.88 average match rating and then because of a registration issue he didn't play much in season two but I fixed that going forward so he now should be seeing him play more which in turn will help him develop because he does need to play during those young years to make sure that he progresses so now I'll simulate to the end of his career to see just how good Zeno de Bast can become. 
Here we are in 2035 to see how Zeno de Bast has developed. He's in his early 30s here. I haven't simulated towards the end of his career, mainly because I needed to record this by a certain time today. So he didn't get to go all the way to 35, 36, but he is 31 years of age. And in terms of ability, is one of the best at the club behind only some special, special, special talents. And you could not ask for much more than this from a ball playing defender. He looks phenomenal. Before we go into all of his attributes in detail, I want to let you know I am starting a new Let's Play series on my channel this week, actually tomorrow at the time of recording. So if you want to come check that out, head over to the channel, hit subscribe over there, check out our other rebuilds, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the content. But let's go and focus on Zeno de Bas. Number 20 for Barcelona, 31 years of age with 75 appearances for the Belgian national team, wanted by Man U, PSG and AC Milan. Clearly, considered a very good player in world football. He's strong, he's good in the air, pacey as well. He's got everything you'd want in the physical department. His concentration, decision-making, composure is all at a very nice level. His positioning is also exceptional. But wow, like, look at that vision, look at the passing, look at the technique. This guy is as perfect a ball-playing defender as you'll likely ever come across. A great tackler, good in the air in terms of his heading ability, he can mark really well, and he's got a great first touch. You won't see many ball-playing defenders better than this, but did he back it up with his performances on the pitch? Let's have a check. It looks like the simulation had a few dodgy moments. Maybe he was injured, wasn't playing or something. I don't know, but across all of his appearances, he has done very well. Once he became a regular first team member consistently, he always hit over a seven average match rating. And in the most recent season, as he gets into his prime, it was his best. And I imagine if we kept going, we'd see even better performances from him because this is kind of the age when defenders reach their peak in football manager. But 10 goals in 32 appearances show that he is clearly an aerial threat for Barcelona. He's always been in and around the goals, actually scoring five or so pretty much every single season, which is nice to see. With a defender in Football Manager, the chances are you're not going to win Ballon d'Ors. He's not going to become the best player in the world, but you just want to see a strong defensive option. And we've got exactly that with Zeno de Bast. I did have a check. He hasn't won any Ballon d'Ors, but interestingly, a 38-year-old Robert Lewandowski won five Ballon d'Ors in a row. Very strange, I know, but yeah, you're not going to win many competitions. But he did consistently win awards for being the best defender in the Champions League, for being in the FIFA Team of the Year many other awards and won pretty much any accolade you'd want to win as a centre-back. A very strong player, a great pickup for about £10 million. I'm a big fan of his. I really wish the simulation had worked perfectly and we'd been able to go on for a few more years and there wasn't these three seasons where his progress kind of stalled a little bit. I would have liked to have seen what he could have became otherwise, but you can tell purely on his attributes, he can be a great player. Let me know what you thought of him in the comments down below. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button for me, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.